Here are four letters L E A N F. Rearrange them to form four letter words. Pause the video. Try this out. Okay. So four boxes. We have the first box. The first box can be filled in four different ways. With one gone, we're left with three letters. So the next one in three, the next one in two, and the last one in one. Four, three, two, one. Multiply all of them. You'll get twenty-four ways. All right. Let's take a different example. Let's say we have T R E N E. These four letters. Rearrange these to form four-letter words. Here are our boxes. Let's try this out. Pause the video. Think about it. Okay. So let's try together. Let's take the blue box. How many options do we have to fill this blue box? At first glance, it seems like we have four options. But look at these two. Whether we pick this E or we pick this E, we're still picking E. So these are not two different options. T is option one. R is option two. And E is option three. There is no option four. So to fill this box, we only have three different letters, which means this box can be filled in three ways, not four, but three ways. All right. Let's move to the next one. How many ways to fill the orange box? Here you're going to get different answers. Let's imagine for a second that the blue box actually picked E. If blue picked E, we have T, R, and a second E left. So we still have three options for this box. But suppose that blue box did not pick E. The blue box actually picked T. So if blue picked T, we're left with R and E. Only two options. So which one should we pick? Should we pick three or should we pick two? So here's where we are stuck. A leaf is not the same as a tree. And if you're getting the feeling that you're about to learn something new here, you're absolutely right. But before we go fast, we'll move slow. Let's break this one down. L E A N F. We have twenty-four ways. Let's actually list them down. So these are all the twenty-four words that you can form by rearranging the letters of the word L E A F leaf. Twenty-four words. Six of them start with L. Six of them with E. Six of them with A, and six of them with F. Beautiful. No two words are the same. You can pause and check this for yourself. Now, if we can make a list for the word leaf, why can't we do the same thing for the word tree? Let's actually do that. T R E E. Let's make a list of all the possible words that we can find. By rearranging the letters of the word tree, let's do that. So this is what we get: six for T, six for R, six of them begin with E, and six of them again begin with E. All right. So these are twenty-four words in front of us, and twenty-four, assuming that both E's are different. Let me actually write that down. If we assume that both E's are different, if both E's are distinct, we end up with twenty-four words, and we both know that the answer is wrong. Twenty-four is incorrect because look at this. T R E E tree, and then again T R E E tree, and there may be many more overlaps in the list. Now what we can do is we can use this list as a starting point, cross out the ones that are overlapping, and try to get to a final list of all the words that are useful to us. T R E E color coding both E's as green will show us clearly where the repetitions are. So again, showing all the twenty-four words, this time. Clearly mentioning that both E's are same. This is what we see. These two are the same. These two are the same. Uh, where else? These two are the same. E T R E. These two are the same. Same, 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 and same, 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 and same. All right. Did you notice something? Can you now figure out what the correct answer is? Well, because all of them had a double, we can get the correct answer by dividing what we have by two. So we have 24, and we only need half of them. So the correct answer is 12, and we have figured it out. We now know how many words we can form by rearranging T R E N E. The answer is not 24. The answer is 12. Let's summarize. This is what we have: L E A F and T R E E. In the first case, all letters are different, which means the life is good. First box has four ways, then three, then two, then one, and total we have 24 ways. In the second one, T R E E, some letters repeat, which makes our life not so good, and it seems like that the road in front of us is blocked. And whenever that happens, we can always take a diversion. For a while, we can assume that our life is actually good. We can actually assume that all the letters are different. By doing this, we end up with a list. In this case, we end up with a list of twenty-four words, and from there we can come back and fix our mistakes. We figured out that we don't need half of them. So we divide 24 by 2 and we get to 12.
and that's how you solve the case of repeated letters. Let's take another example. Figure out how many words you can form by rearranging mango and how many words you can form by rearranging apple. Okay, so let's do this together. For mango, we have all letters different. M, A, N, G, O, all of them are distinct, which means our life is good, which means we can do 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which gives us 120 ways. For apple, that's not the case. Some letters are actually repeating. You can see that we have two P's. They're not different, they're actually same. But for a minute, we can assume that they're different. We end up with a list of 120 words and we can delete half of them. We can fix our mistake. This gives us 60 ways to rearrange apple. Now at this point, you might be thinking, well, this makes sense if you have two letters repeating. What if you have more than two letters? Let's talk about it. A, B, C. Let's say we have a three letter word, A, B, C. Let's rearrange it. We should get three times two times one. We should get six different words. This is what we get. All right. And now what happens if you take a different word, A, A, A? What if you rearrange all three of them? How many words do you think you'll get? Well, there's no point rearranging because all three of them are same. No matter in which order you put them, you'll still get the same word. You'll still get A, A, A. All these words are the same. What can we notice about this situation? Well, in the previous case, when only two letters were repeating, we deleted half the list. In this case, we're deleting much more than that. It turns out that more the repetition, the bigger the correction. For this specific case, every six words will only give us one. So this means when there are three words of the same kind, we'll end up dividing the list by six. Let's take an example. Here's the word faf. Now faf has three f's and let's see what we get by rearranging the letters of the word faf. There's a lot of repetition. Look at this row. We have words starting with A and then after A, all we have is F's. F's, F's, F's and F's. In fact, this entire row only gives us one word. The rest of them are useless. We'll get a much better look if we switch back the colors. Let's make all F's as blue. This is what we get. We don't get 24 words. We get way less than that. For this entire column, we actually have one word. That's A, F, F, F. What about Faf? F, A, F, F. Where do we see faf? So these two are faf, then there's faf, and then there's faf. So two plus two plus two, six. Six words actually give us one. Uh, what else can we see? We have ffaf, so this is what we have. ffaf, 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 and then one more, ffaf. All six of them are the same, ffaf, so we divide this by six. And finally, we have this last ffa. We also have six of them. So this entire list actually gives us four unique words. We don't get 24, we actually get four. Let's compare a two letter word when both of them are different and when both of them are same. Now when they're different, we have two ways and when they're same, we only have one way. What about three letter words? What happens when all of them are different versus when all of them are same? So when they're different, we have six ways. And how do we get six? That's three times two times one. And when all of them are same, we get only one way. What about four letter words? A, B, C, D. This is the four letter word. What if all of them are the same? A, 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 A. How many words here? Well, we have four into three into two into one. That's 24. And what about this case? A, 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 A. No matter how much you rearrange, you will only get one word. So we have only one way to rearrange this. Which means if we have a letter which is repeated twice, we'll have to divide the total number by two. The correction is divide by two. If there is a letter which is repeated thrice, we'll divide the total number by six. That six is three into two into one. And if somewhere there's a word which has a letter which is repeated four times, then we'll have to divide it by four into three into two into one. That's 24. The correction will be divided by four, three, two, one. 